Dale. Not so good. Are you still worried about Dell? Oh, baby, I've been worried about him from the minute I was born. Where is he now? Where is he now? I left him sacked out on the couch, which should keep him out of trouble at least for one night. Let me see. Uh, can you tell me something? Do you really believe that story of his reason for being back in Monticello? Oh, you mean about those dudes being after him from Arizona? Mm -hmm. No, I don't believe a word of it. See, whenever Dell is trying to run a scam or setting up a con, what he does is he always falls asleep with his big smile on his face. <laughs> was he smiling when you left him? Yeah. Smile big enough to put the Grand Canyon in. Good night, Father. May I speak to Scott, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid he's not here. He's still at the airport working on the jet. Ah, I'd heard you had a little mishap, yes? Yes, we did. I'm happy you both him no harm. Oh, thank you. Uh, why don't you come in? He should be back soon. Maybe we can get a little something from room service. Don't go far with me. You're very kind. So have you heard anything from your father yet? Not yet. Not that it surprises me. We were never very close, Angler and I. I'm sorry. Despite our silences, I do miss him somehow. You have done a good job, Jacques. I'm pleased you think so, monsieur. This is a perfect place. Once we have kidnapped Carmen. How you doing? That remains to be seen. Oh, nonsense. You're going to do a splendid job. I just wish they taught broadcasting in med school, that's all. Oh, sounds like you're going to take over best show. Well, she wanted me to do it. I guess it's the least I can do to repay her. Any idea where she ran off to? No, but I'm going to do my darndest to find out and find out why she did. We have been discussing the possibility of changing the name of the show to Body Talk. Since Miles is a physician, not a psychiatrist, we thought it might be more apropos. Oh, body talk, it kind of sounds nice. I think I like it. What do you think, Preacher? That is all right by me. Isn't that settled? Well, actually, you know, Geraldine, I've been thinking, uh, maybe if we change the name now, we'll lose what, uh, what do you call it, audience identification? I don't want to lower the ratings on this show. Yeah. Whatever you right, think you know, best. The doctor's got a point there, Miss Saxon. He really does. If you think so. After all, you're going to be the one in front of that microphone, not I. Well, don't make it sound like a firing squad. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Well, Miss Saxon, can I talk to you for a second? Yes, Preacher. Well, there's something you should know. What is it? Dell's back in town. Really? Well, what do you uh, think about humble little home, huh? Well, it has a nice, uh, a nice lived-in quality about it. It does, huh? Well, I guess I lost interest when I lost Jinx. It's hot in here. The air conditioner's been out for a week. Do you mind if I open up the window? No, no, not at all. I'd love it. Oh, it seems like summer has finally hit Monticello with a vengeance. Was it 95 today? Yeah, something like that. All oh, right, that's a little bit better. Come here, take a look at the view. Once you get past the fire escape, it's not so bad. You can see the river from here. I sure can. Wow. I never right. realized how beautiful it looks in the evening. Uh, let me get out, take out Chinese banquet and stick it in the microwave. Is this, um, is this a picture of Jinx? Yes, it is. Oh, she's really pretty. Yes, she certainly was. Thanks. To 
Jinx. Too old. Remember that night that the three of us, you, me and Miles, were at the Rock Garden? We were reminiscing over Jinx and Walter and Nicole. Yeah, that was real nice. It was nice. It was. You know, I'm glad that you and Miles are friends again. Oh, of course we're friends. Friends argue a lot, you know. But if you're friends, the feelings don't die. Well, that, that was a microwave I put those in. I'm sure it's ready now. Bye-bye. I'll help you. It is ironic, Angler having a child. You see, in many ways, he's still a child himself. It was difficult for so unworldly a man to raise a daughter on his own. I suppose in his mind I was only another one of his experiments. I'm afraid I am one of the few experiments that failed. Was he close to anyone? I was off at school. What about at work? Oh, there was Ludwig Crick, Engler's chief assistant, but they would have huge battles. Why did Crick stay with him then? I don't know. Maybe because Engler was brilliant and he wasn't. Crick always hoped a little of the brilliance would wear off. Through this went. I will fill the room. This canister will put her to sleep. And this one? That one kills quickly and with great efficiency. We must use extreme caution in using it. In fact, I want you to store both canisters on the roof in order to prevent any accidents. Oh, one more thing, even more important. Under no circumstances is common to see our face. Don't make myself clear. We, oui, Monsieur Clint, come on. Well, of course it'll work. Why wouldn't it? Well, Jeremy, I'm not trying to play games with Mrs. Saxon at all. I'm just trying to help her out. I know. Oh, I've got to go. Bye. Hello. Kelly, dear. Well, it looks as if you're really settled in, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel right at home. Hey, you want a pretzel? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Shelly, are you sure you're getting enough to eat lately? Oh, yeah, I get plenty. Uh, pretzels, potato chips, and cupcakes are not my idea of a balanced diet. Okay, well, I'll have a carrot for breakfast tomorrow morning. <laughs> You feel more comfortable in your job now? Oh, yeah, it's terrific. I'm getting, you know, a lot more self-confident every night. I'm glad to hear it. And, uh, Shelley, I do hope that you'll be able to live with my decision to continue with the middle-of-the-road music. Yes, I am. There's no question about it. That's good. And, my dear, I hope you will watch that sensuous tone of voice you've been using. Uh, you're here to get the radios turned on, not the listeners. Okay, Mrs. Saxon, listen, you don't have to worry about a thing, really. Well, now that we've cleared away our little differences of opinion, I'd better get back to Beth's studio. Miles is a nervous wreck. Um, may I ask you a question before you go? Of course. There's a problem here late at night. How late can I call you before you're asleep? Well, I'm usually asleep around one. Anything for that would be fine. But if you have a real emergency, of course, feel free to wake me. No, no, I won't need to do that, I'm sure. Well, thanks a lot. All right, dear. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Saxon. All right, so it's easy listening until 1 a.m., and then I'm going to set this town rocking. <laughs> First, just give some general comments on the theme of the show, and then Preacher will open up the phone Well, lines. listen, now, what about... Uh... What about commercials? Am I going to have to start selling vegetable slicers or anything like that? You just relax. That stuff is all pre-taped, all right? Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. You're going to be great, Miles. One vote of confidence. <laughs> Don't say it. Hey, Doc, just to uh, settle your troubled mind, I got one of 
best old shows on tape if anything goes wrong. Well, one out of three. I'll take it. <laughs> All set, Miles? <sighs> yes, I, I guess so. Is there anything you need? Yes, uh, somebody to talk me out of this. Oh, no, no. <laughs> anyway, it's too late to get cold feet. It's never too late to get cold feet. Doc, this may help you out a little bit, but just think of this as like working on the hotline. See, there's, there, listen, now listen, there's you, the phone, and there's somebody on the other end who needs help. Listen, at least with a hotline, half of Monticello isn't listening. Uh, Doc, are you ready for a sound check? I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, thank you, Doc. That was delicious. Well, I'm sorry, it was from a... Chinese takeout, if I had a little bit more time and a walk. There's no need to apologize. It was very good. Besides, you and I both worked very hard today. Yeah, we have. We still haven't gotten any closer to finding Les Grafton's murder or a motive for the damn killing. Yeah, and that's not going to be easy. Sky Whitney fired Grafton, so if anybody's got any getting even to do, it's got to be Grafton. Uh, what about Alicia Van Dyne? She's the one he was spying for. But why would she want him killed? I tell you. He'd been so much help to her. Right, and then somewhere in the middle is Logan Swift. I don't think Grafton and Swift even met each other. Oh. Where does that bring us? Right back to where we started? What was the motive? Well, obviously somebody thought Grafton was a serious enough threat to murder him. The question now is who? Hmm. You know what? What? You got an idea? Yes, I do. It's got nothing to do with Les Grafton's murder, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh is right. I'm back here. Mademoiselle Angler is still at the hotel with Madame Whitney. Excellent. A witness will be most helpful. Good evening. Uh, this is Dr. Miles Cavanaugh. And this is Mind Talk. I'll be sitting in for Dr. Beth Carell while she's away on vacation. Now, I'm an MD, uh, a general practitioner, so the topics that we'll be discussing in the next few days will be more of a, a physical nature than an emotional one. Tonight's topic will be problems of the heart. Hasn't it? Yeah. It's so good to have you back here. Of course, it's only my opinion, you know, but I never thought you and Miles were right for each other. No, no, we, we were for a while. Mm -hmm. Just didn't last, that's all. Yeah. I hope it doesn't sound too arrogant, but I'm sure glad it didn't last. You know, you were so patient. I don't know why you waited so long. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still wait if I had to, Chris. Don't you know I love you? What, did I say something wrong? Oh, no, Derek. I... You know, I care a lot about you, but I... But you what? Everything's happening so fast. I just... It's not happening too yes, fast. Yes, it is. And I'm going to need a little bit more time. To what? Change your mind? No. Hmm? No. Nothing like that. I just... I just want us to take it slow. I promise you I'm not going to run off to anybody else's bed. Derek, I want this to last. I do, too. I do. So, maybe I should be going. You have to go. Yeah, I think so. All right. I'll drive you home. No, no, that's all right. Um, there's a cab stand right on the corner. You're tired. I'll be fine. 
But thank you for a very wonderful evening. Well, I hope it's just the first of many wonderful evenings. Good night. Good night. Oh. All right, come on. I'll get you a cab. Oh, all right. Okay, baby, I'll tell her. Be safe. Bye-bye. Skylar apologizes. The work on the plane's a little more complicated than he thought. He hopes she'll understand. Oh, certainly I do. Tell Sky I'll phone him in the morning. Right now I must go. It is late, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me company, Raven. Oh, that's okay. It was most enjoyable. Please do not make a sound. We, we do not wish to hear, hurt either of you. Uh, are you sure you have the right place? World War I is over. No, madam. What do you want? We are taking you with us as the prisoners of the revolution. Revolution? This is Switzerland. Put it in the closet. You're wasting time. goes out to all of you people out there who like it soft and slow. This is Shelley Franklin, the Night Raider, right here, all night long on WEONFM. And now, I've got a special treat for all you night crawlers crawling out there. Wake up, Monticello. It's time to party. How'd I do? Ah, you were great, Miles. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you, too. Doc, I learned a lot about the heart, about the valves and the tentacles. Ventricles. All right, sir. Yes, it did seem to go pretty well, didn't it? <laughs> you just think it looked at, look at it this way. You just think the next one's even gonna be easier. It'd be a lot easier if Beth had come back. You did care about her, didn't you, Miles? Very worried about her. Are you sure that's all it was? Just Jody, Sorry. Jody, look, it's very late now. Let's pick some other time to discuss it. Hey, uh, <clears throat> how about some coffee and donuts on me? Sure, I'm starved. Uh, Miles? Yeah, why not? Look, I'll meet you outside uh, in about a minute, okay?
emergency. Police! Polizei! Please hurry! Thank you.